Hello, welcome to Nostalgia Nerd. Now, not so long ago, I surpassed 5,000 subscribers, which seems absolutely mind-blowing to me. You know, I used to look at uh, YouTubers with a thousand subscribers, a few thousand, and think, my God, that's amazing. Look how many people are following that person. And to think, after just, you know, a year of trying, 5,000, I'm pretty happy with that, which just proves that, you know, if you put your mind to something, you can achieve it. So I'd like to thank all my subscribers, past, present and future, and of course my Patreons, because, you know, you are really contributing to the upkeep of the channel. Uh, the names should be going down here about now. Because it does take a lot of time for me to make this channel and make these videos. You know, probably more than I should be, really. Hence why I'm having to sell quite a lot of my uh, retro collection. You know, if you want this, get on my eBay shop now. Links below. But as long as I'm cataloging this and making videos of it, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm keeping the best stuff, keeping the stuff I use the most, such as the Amiga 1200, Mega CD, Commodore 64, etc. So if you want to contribute to my Patreon, please do. It's greatly appreciated and really helps keep the channel going. So I wanted to share with you some YouTubers who I've been watching recently and my, my favourite YouTubers and just uh, give you a bit of news and updates on the channel. I want to talk a bit about what the channel is trying to achieve. I guess what I'm trying to do with Nostalgia Nerd is share nostalgic memories with people just to trigger that spark in your mind, just to remind you of that memory from days gone by when you had less responsibility, everything was easy and just bring that feeling, that overwhelming feeling of safety, of excitement, you know, of, of joy back to you. And if I can do that to at least one person, then the channel has been a success in my eyes. And, you know, it was from that standpoint, you know, when, when you know, when the world's going to shit around you, when I started to get into channels like uh, LGR. Now, LGR was a massive inspiration for me starting Nostalgia Nerd. And I used to watch his uh, videos late into the night, you know, you know, the world was going to pot. But it was okay because LGR has pushed out another video and you can lose yourself in that video for 10, 15 minutes or whatever. And that style of uh, just showing you things from your past and looking at them in a technical way, a light-hearted way, you know, it's, it's just really appealed to me. And LGR is a great channel, I'm sure you are all familiar with it, which it's a channel which I still watch thoroughly today. Likewise, if you've heard of LGR, you've probably heard of Pushing Up Roses, and those two seem to go together perfectly in uh, the combination of content they offer. It's sort of a, a good contrast. Pushing Up Roses does sort of adventure games and click-type games, and it brings the thoughtful aspect to it, uh, and it, co it seems to complement what LGR does well. And yeah, you could watch those videos back-to-back -back from those two, and it would be a, a perfect night's entertainment. Another YouTuber who I'm a massive fan of is Dan Wood. Now if you love Amiga stuff then Dan's channel is the place to go and he was another big inspiration for me starting up Nostalgia Nerd. You know and he covers everything Amiga and he recently did a video talking about the Atari ST and it was nice to get that perspective from an Amiga fan about how the Atari ST appears to him. And he wasn't too harsh on it, it was a nice rounded review. So, you know, that's another great channel to check out. Kim Justice is another channel I've been watching quite a lot of recently, and Kim's really starting to make movement in subscriber numbers. And the videos on the channel are pretty much the kind of videos that I would make, you know, if I wasn't making the ones I'm already making. And they're really good and interesting. There's a recent one I've just seen on there about uh, Alan Sugar and Amstrad. And I'm looking forward to watching that. I think um, Kim has the same view of Sugar being a bit of a dick. They're not uh, made up by a, a team of ex-graduates who are throwing a few electronic components in a plastic box. To me. So that's going to be some interesting viewing. I'm looking forward to that. Another good channel is Chinny Vision. Uh, and Chinny does a lot of uh, running commentary reviews and comparisons with different formats. And that's a really interesting channel to watch. I'm getting quite into that. Also, if you're into more of the toy side of things, you know, I haven't done many toy featured videos recently. I've done a few board game ones, but Retro Toys, then Oddpod, great channel to check out because that's pretty much all he does. And I'll be covering some more stuff in the near future, but you know, if you want to get your 80s fix of some retro toy, it's a good place to go. 
Another channel is Technomo. Now, it's quite similar to LGR in its style, and you know, he looks at old audio equipment and old uh, electronics and stuff like that, but it's a very sort of comfy format. You know, you can get a bag of popcorn and sit there and happily get into that. And you know, I've been watching quite a lot of that channel recently. That's another one I wholeheartedly recommend. And Larry Bundy Jr., another one if you're into some gaming action, and Banjo Guy Ollie, who does awesome banjo covers of retro video game music. Okay, he's just started a new channel uh, following the MSX series of computers. It was incorporated in his old channel, but he's moved it across to a new channel, I think, called uh, BG Ollie, which is also definitely worth checking out. You may also notice that I've recently joined Retroware, and Retroware do their channel where they do the video game years, which is another one worth checking out. Uh, and what does that mean? Well, me joining Retroware TV means that I get to put my videos on their website, and they tweet about them, and I put their banner on my videos, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't get paid anything for it. There's nothing else ongoing with that, you know. I share their name, they share my videos, and then I can represent them at uh, trade fairs and retro gaming conventions if I, if I fancy it in the near future. That's pretty much the scope of that situation. So I felt it was just a good thing to get my name further out there and, you know, promote the whole retro gaming community as a whole, because we are one. We are stronger as one. Hence this video. <laughs> and also, given that some of my favourite YouTubers are on the Retroware TV bandwagon, I was like, hell yeah! So yeah, I mean, that's it. I just wanted to drop a quick update of the channel. I might make a few light changes to the channel going forward. I may start a new uh, Modern Mondays section, where on Monday I look at more modern things, but still things rooted in retro. You know, so I might look at some new books about re the retro scene, or you know, some merchandise, or things that remind me of retro, or new games which are inspired by retro, or even compare an old retro game to a new retro game. Anything like that, just to mix it up a little bit. I did one on Monday about the, a Game of Thrones magazine, just a quick off-the-cuff one. You guys didn't seem to like it too much, but hey, that's the way I'm going. So, like it or lump it. Well, if you lump it too much, I'll probably stop it, but, you know, that is um, democracy for you, even though this isn't a democracy, but it could be if you stop watching my videos. Ah! How'd you get there? Um, I've also started a new channel called Nostalgia Nerd Extra, and really, that is just for footage which I don't think warrants the main channel and I'm also going to use it for reference material so if I want to reference something from a main video say an example of how a particular graphic works like in the QL video I did an example of the bouncing ball uh, demonstration from the Amiga and various other platforms I did a quick montage of that and I dumped it on Nostalgia Nerd Extra so if you are particularly bored you can check out that channel as well why not also, before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to Snow Kitten, who I bought some music off and she's allowed me to use some of her awesome tracks in some of my review videos. I'll put a link below so that you can go and buy her music if you want it. Anyway, thanks for stopping in today and for joining me on this quick video. I hope to see you soon. Goodbye. God, you put hair in my tea. There's bloody hair in my tea, cat. What the hell is this? What the fuck is this, cat? You're a bastard. I can't bloody turn the camera off now.